welcome back everyone to another video and in this one we'll be taking a new look at the fuchsia os google's in-house operating system built from scratch using the magenta kernel now uh, a few days back one of my viewers commented on a previous videos on the fuchsia uh, os that there are a few ways to improve performance uh, and the other thing was that there are new stuff that has been introduced into the fuchsia os um, basic uh, mainly uh, focused towards the graphical user interface so that's the main thing we'll be looking uh, for and uh, so let's go ahead and run the fuchsia os now first things first the way to improve performance if you're emulating fuchsia os on your desktop is to use the k argument what it does it enables kernel virtual machine or kvm uh, that in turn enables the QEMO uh, emulator to actually use uh, hardware virtualization or VTX that is built into uh, the Intel processors and that means that it will have near bare metal performance. So that's what we are going to use today. So let's go ahead and start Fuchsia OS and um, what I'll do is drag the window to the corner so that you guys can see the terminal log as well and so this is something called the flutter runner and uh, this is kind of the new login uh, you know page for fuchsia and um, previously what used to happen that we would just jump into a shell environment but now they have made it so that a login uh, a user login kind of a thing appears so mostly it's just for demo nothing much but it's still something that uh, you know has changed in the last bit so we'll simply type user one and press enter this should get us to something called armadillo now armadillo is sort of a home screen as you can see and this is very very uh, closely uh, resembling the uh, google now card interface and stuff like that and they have also included for all you uh, all those who like round edges they have included the round edges as well so as you can see the moment i move my mouse over anything uh, in this new ui it crashes so but we'll be able to see more of armadillo later on uh, and what i'm going to do is close this for now and restart since we have crashed uh, and restart the whole thing then from there uh I will skip the login interface, go straight to shell and simply launch Armadillo. So launch system apps and Armadillo user shell. So as you can see, this is the Armadillo user shell and it again closely resembles the Google now user interface and it's not crashing anymore. Now it does say you can ask for everything, but I have tried and what I'll do is again, enter something like uh, hello and it just uh, doesn't respond that well and it has again crashed so this is something that keeps on happening uh, it's not perfect it's not uh, bug free right now very early in development but again one of the newer things that we can expect uh, to be inbuilt uh, in fuchsia once it kind of launches so I am restarting the emulator again and this time I'll show you something called uh, flutter library and what it will do is allow us to uh, view some sort of uh, user interface demos and stuff like that. So system slash apps slash flutter and uh, gallery. So this is based on the flutter.io interface uh, and then again here you have options for the light and the dark theme. Uh, again this is so much inspired from the uh, material design basically based around it. So you can shift it to uh, an android kind of a look or you can shift it to a ios kind of a look. There's not much of a difference here but um, yeah so it seems to have hanged again we won't we won't be looking too much into that 
so again I'll start flutter gallery and see how that goes so launch system apps and flutter gallery so we are back into flutter gallery so here are some of the demos so uh, this is an app demo for uh, recipes and now if I open flutter gallery which is also an Android application on my phone uh, what you can see is that there are certain images so in the uh, pesto kind of the, uh, in this uh, demo as you can see there are many images shown on my phone but they are now showing up right here on the pesto app uh, the reason I think is maybe JPEG uh, decoding or something like that is not yet available uh, on uh, Fuchsia and uh, that makes the uh, images not really appear at all so you can see the by definition it is a beautiful little teapot but there is no teapot so again this is sort of a demo and I think it's great that they have uh, this all going around and working uh, as much it is right now but uh, that is about it so again there are cards like you would have on Google now so this is a simple card example uh, that they are showing so something like a travel log kind of a stuff maybe and um, date and time picker with widgets so a simple uh, UI uh, stuff and what else we have uh, apart from everything else we have another crash maybe yep so it has again crashed so let me go ahead and turn that on again so it is crashing a lot more probably because I'm also uh, using software rendering to you know record all of this in the background and maybe that is causing all of these crashes so I think uh, that was sort of it for the flutter gallery application which shows pretty much the user interface that can be achieved with flutter on fuchsia and flutter is kind of the main thing that they are pushing forward to create graphical uh, programs uh, on this uh, platform so the next thing is a simple chess game so launch system apps and chess so if you really want to play chess and you want to play it by the most inconvenient method ever go ahead download the fuchsia source code build the fuchsia source code uh, and run fuchsia os in an emulator on your ubuntu machine and issue the command for the chess game and there you are playing chess game uh, and the thing is there is no AI from the other end so this is a multiplayer chess game in its own right and again it has crashed so you guys can see how well this is working um, it would have worked a bit better if I would have some how had a better CPU and it wouldn't have been bottlenecking so uh, as you can see the the area where it crashed the time where it crashed is actually when my CPU uses uh, touches a hundred percent and it's not able to provide um, you know enough uh, processing power to the OS and it crashes now in any given situation a proper operating system would not do that uh, it will hold it will stall for a bit but again this is a very new thing so it crashes if it doesn't get uh, much resources so let's try to do that chess thing once again uh, hopefully it should work but uh, I'll not be too
Alright, so let's just wait for the system to settle down a bit. Um, I can see the CPU rise. And now I think let's just see if you can move something. So uh, if I play it like this and then as I said, there is no AI. So you have to manually play from the other side as well. And this is a two player game. So yeah, and again, we have a crash. So that was it, a video involving some of the new features of the Fuchsia OS, especially to do with the uh, graphical user interface and Flutter.io stuff. Uh, and of course, a lot of crashes. So um, again, if you're not, you know, encoding a video in the background on your CPU, uh, you are probably uh, good to go and it would be a, a lot more uh, stable than what you can see right now. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in the next one.